everyone, and welcome back again to Technical Tuesdays. This is the first uh, of a three-part series on airflow measurement. And uh, to start with, this is Cooley's favorite ball. He's proud of it. He wanted you all to see it. They're all very impressed. So today we're going to start with talking about the flow box. Um, that's what this is here. Uh, you can see that there's four holes on it. it has the same range plugs as our blower door. Uh, with all the holes plugged up, it works as a pressure pan to go around and find leaks in a building enclosure. Uh, but if we take out some of the holes here, uh, it works as an exhaust fan flow meter. So we can read air flows anywhere where there's an exhaust under 200 CFM. So it's great for measuring bath fans, uh, some kitchen exhaust, and whole house ventilation, uh, and some room returns also. So the way this works, uh, the flow box connects to your DM32. If you've downloaded the latest firmware, you'll see that the flow box is an option if you go in to uh, select a device. And if you select your range on there, you'll see the different hole options there. So you can have all four holes open for higher flows all the way down to one. And it also comes with range 74 uh, to read lower flows as well. You'll see that I have uh, both channels of the DM32 connected, our blue port and our yellow port uh, that connect with a T that go to the flow box. The reason we have it set up like this is because we want to read pressure on channel A. We want to make sure that our pressure that we're reading on our DM32 is somewhere between negative 2 and negative 10 pascals. Uh, that way, uh, we're going to be in that range for the flow box to be accurate. Outside of that, uh, our accuracy decreases. So that's the window where we want to be when we're reading our flow. And of course, on channel B, uh, on CFM, that's where we're going to read our flow. We'll have that channel B set up to read CFM. Uh, and we're reading that here uh, with our yellow port. As you can see here, we have the flow box set up to read a bath fan. Uh, we can see uh, we have a, an extension pole screwed into the handle. So uh, any type of extension pole that is used for painting, the handle on the flow box can screw into that. Uh, and we see that this fan's pulling about 32 CFM. Not great. Uh, for a bath fan, I like to see uh, at least 50. Uh, so there's probably some areas here where we can fix that. We can seal the fan box to the drywall, straighten out our ductwork, make sure it doesn't have any U-turns or crimps in it, and we can check our termination outside and make sure that it's not being too restrictive. But this is the reading that we're getting, um, and then we can make some repairs, make some improvements, test it again to see if we can get a higher flow. So that's the quick and dirty on using the flow box to measure exhaust flows. Tune back into us next Tuesday where we talk about another option for measuring airflow. Thanks again for watching.